Hi guys and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a custom crest logo for Arcage. I'm going to be doing it in GIMP since I don't have Photoshop, so let's get to it. First, we want to open up GIMP and we're going to select a new file. It needs to be 256 by 256 and I want the transparency on for this logo, so I'll just select it down here. Once that's done, um, I'm going to zoom in so I can see a bit clearer. It's optional, you don't have to. Any logos, images, files, anything at all, if you've got them on your PC saved and you want to use them in your crest, you're going to open them as a layer. You're going to go and select where they are. For me, I'm just going to be using my channel icons. If the image is too big, you want to right click it, you want to scale the layer down so it fits your, um, well, so it fits your crest. I'm going to try this at 300. Let's have a look at that. No, it's still a bit too big. Let's make it 260. There we go. And now for my other logo, again opening up as a layer. It should be in here somewhere. There we go. So open that and it's massive. So again, you want to scale the layer back. Let's try this one at 300. And that one works. Now as you can see they're on top of each other. So you're going to go into the tools, transform tools and select move. I find it easier to select the image I want to move in the toolbar on the right. So let's get my text out of there first and bring that down. And then we can just click that and move it up. Once you're happy with the location and everything inside your image, you're going to want to go and export it in GIMP. So if you click on export, you need to save it as a PNG file and title it UCC. Uh, save it, I'm going to be doing it to the desktop here, so let's export that and overwrite my old one. Now once that's been exported, you should find it on your desktop. With this logo, you need to go and place this in your Arcage folder now. So if you go and open up your documents, and then you find your Arcage folder and the UCC folder, You'll take this image you've just made and you'll drag and drop it in here. If you have any other images in here already, we'll ask you if you want to replace them. So I just usually select that, move but keep both files. So I can have different images and if I want to change later on, I can just edit the one I want and rename it as UCC. If your image isn't just UCC, then the game won't read it. So this one, for example, here, that has got a 2 in brackets the game won't detect that in there and from what I've seen so far it can only read one logo at a time so if you're going to be making multiple crests with different logos and different text you're going to want to be coming back to this folder and changing things here now once this is done you're going to go back into game and you're going to go and find a printer once your logo is done once your crest has been completed and uploaded you want to find a crest printer so go to a major sitter or town, they should be on there and just head over to the Crest printer you will need with you some memory ink and your Crest brainstorm that you get from the marketplace once you're here you'll just use this machine and you should see your logo you just created down here in the bottom left now if you select that you get your preview here you can add backgrounds to it if you wish and you can just change the colours with this little panel here if you decide you want to go for no background, which is what I'm going to do, just press the trash can there to remove it. And this will just make your image like that. So I'm going to go ahead and press complete. And then when you press confirm here. And you should see in your inventory you now have a crest ink. Now you can make as many um, stamps as you want from this, as many crests as you want, as long as you've got memory ink in here. You're going to go and right click that and then you'll get an image here. That's your stamp so you will right click this and then you'll apply it to whatever you want to put it on. So for example if you've got a clipper you'll right click and then you'll select your clipper. If you've got a cape you'll select your cape. You can also uh, mail these to friends or guildmates and then they can all share your crest. Um, thanks for watching and have fun.